Prince Harry and Meghan Markle completely excluded from royal family celebrations in UK. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were not included in any private celebrations royal family members organized during the Platinum Jubilee, a royal expert claimed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have had a rather frosty relationship with senior members of the royal family since stepping down from their royal roles in March 2020. The gap between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and other royals was further exacerbated by the Oprah Winfrey interview the pair gave one year into their new arrangement. Mirror Royal editor Russell Meyer suggested the tense relations persisted through the couple's return to the UK for the Platinum Jubilee, resulting in Harry and Meghan's reported exclusion from private family events. Speaking to Sunrise Australia, Mr Meyer said, Prince Harry might be a bit perturbed from what happened because he was completely ignored. There were some pictures of them keeping a low profile at Trooping the Colours, the first event on the Thursday of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. There were some long lenses of them mixing with the family, Meghan looking quite forlorn on her own. When I was just sitting a few feet away from Harry and Meghan, when William and Kate came in, and Charles and Camilla, there was no eye contact whatsoever. He continued, We also understand that was the only time they saw the family, there was no celebrations, there was no going round for tea and cake. It seems things are very, very frosty still. If Harry was looking for some sort of piecemeal, he was a long way off that. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were spotted holding slightly back from interacting with senior royals. While in attendance of the Queen's Thanksgiving service, the couple were seated apart from Prince Charles and Prince William and were placed instead in a separate tile with other minor royals. No picture has emerged showing the Sussexes with Prince Harry's father or brother, nor with the Queen. They are however believed to have met with Her Majesty during their stay to introduce their youngest child, Lilibet Diana, to her namesake. Prince Harry was instead spotted chatting with Princess Eugenie's husband, Jack Brooks Bank, as they sat next to each other inside St. Paul's Cathedral. Royal author Christopher Anderson claimed the palace had meticulously orchestrated Meghan and Harry's return and effectively marginalized them. Mr. Anderson said, the whole world was watching and waiting to see if fences would be mended, if the Sussexes got back together with the rest of the family. From that standpoint, it was an unmitigated disaster. It's hard to see how the royal family could have been any more callous towards the Sussexes. They were meticulously choreographed in every instant to be sidelined and marginalized. He added, if Harry went to London's Jubilee celebrations hoping to mend fences, that didn't happen. They literally turned their back on him at St. Paul's Cathedral. It was handled in a very cold and somewhat heartless way.
towards the Sussexes. They were meticulously choreographed in every instant to be sidelined and marginalized. He added, if Harry went to London's Jubilee celebrations hoping to mend fences, that didn't happen. They literally turned their back on him at St. Paul's Cathedral. It was handled in a very cold and somewhat heartless way.